Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today we're back on to the mini palettes of Natasha Denona, but I wanted to let you know, oh, I got, I purchased one of the little Gucci blushes in Radiant Pink, and it's really pretty. I mean, packaging aside is beautiful, of course, and then you open it up and it looks like this. Now, it does have a smell to it, but it's not bad. But I will say that I really thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> That's what she said, all right? Um, reason being is because, like, which I guess you do kind of use more bronzer than blush. But look at the size of that compared to that. Like, hello, we got a big difference here in size. And... Here's the thing with this packaging, too. I wish they would do it to where it was, um, what is it? Refillable. Because I feel like the packaging is so pretty, everybody would use it. You know what I mean? Reuse it, even. Because after it's done, you don't want to have to throw that away. But the bronzer also came, okay, with a little brush. I mean, who uses it? I don't know. I don't. But if, you know... You had to, you had to. And it came with its own little bag, okay? The bronzer did. The blush did not. So that kind of, especially for the price of it, I don't know. But I will say it is a very pretty blush. I will say I didn't necessarily need it because I have a lot of blushes that I do not need. But, but, I don't, I only have one Gucci blush. So, and I am thinking about purchasing another one, but I'm holding off. I'm, I'm trying to just not buy as much. But today we're going to be playing with the Mini Star Palette. What do I think about this palette? I think that... First off, if you have the original Star Palette, you, do, you don't need this. Because every shade in here is in the regular Star Palette. Now, this is basically on the... The more neutral side of the palette, not the maroon side or burgundy side. That's the side I usually use because of that one shade. What is it? Galaxia, I think. Oh my goodness. Love that shade. This is pretty. This is the look we're going to do. It's just, I don't generally play with these, to be honest. Plus, I mean, come on. You could have threw in a new shade. At least one. You would think. But no. No, no. But I will say these are her, I'm going to go into the color Attic 117CM just to get started. I can say though that these were one of her first releases on these. So I guess I can kind of see like she was didn't know exactly where she was going with it or if like it was just a sample of the palette. You could see if you liked it and then purchase the big one since it was so big or so pricey. Um, or like with some of them, they're extensions, you know, like another row technically to the palette, which I like because, you know, when you're spending money, you don't want duplicates. I mean, not really. I will say with this, the duplicates are, it, you know, shades I definitely would use and go through as in like the browns and stuff fits the perfect shades for me and stuff to like create an eye look but at the same time I've got so much of a collection that I'm never going to go through these technically this would be a palette like I could declutter I'm going to go into the shade earth now due to the fact that I technically have all these shades already in the palette but, you know, I don't want to declutter it because technically it is, you know, part of her collection. And I do buy everything Natasha Denona. But I guess if I was going to travel, I could take this one. And not worry about it. Like, if it broke or something, no big deal because I have these shades anyway. But like I said, I usually don't work with that side of the palette very often if I go into that uh, palette. And 
I mean, I'm going to take that attic shade and go on the lower lash line. And I just don't, I don't know. I just feel like I wouldn't wear this look, you know? It's not a look I would necessarily gravitate to to create. Obviously, I am today because I'm trying to show all the mini palettes and then rank them, but it's not that it's not a pretty eye look or you can't create a pretty eye look with this palette. It's just not necessarily an eye look I would create. You know what I mean? But I did, and it turned out fine. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to take the earth shade and go on the lower lash line and again if this is like a color story you like the, you know the colors are fine I've had this for a long time so I don't think that it is technically up to par really with her other shadows but I don't remember if it was like this from the beginning or if possibly age has done something to it. But I keep my product stored at a, you know, set, you know, nice temperature and it's out of sunlight and not much air exposure is to these products. So they are pretty old. But, I mean, you know, they don't smell and, or anything like that. I will say also that I do think I have a little bit of um, hard pan on a couple of these shades. So I would be careful, you know, as far as that goes also. Like, if you have this palette, you may want to use this palette type of thing. I'm going to go into the shade, is it Oon, Orion, I don't know, 105 DC. This one's a pretty shade, it's just not a duochrome that I particularly go for, and, be, and I do think if you wet it, it will be prettier, I'm going to put it on my lid. It's like a green, brown, red shift type of look, really. I mean, it's probably the most common duochrome, honestly. And I will say it's not perform. I know this isn't performing as well as even in the one in the big palette. So I do think that age has maybe done something to this. And I could spray it and get a better look with it, but I don't like to, I like to show you how the shadows perform on their own. So I'm really not faulting the shadow because, like I said, it is older. I don't know even if you can get this particular palette anymore to be honest with you or the star palette I mean I love the star palette I'm not gonna lie it is one of my faves especially for the one side of it is it worth the money if you're not using the whole palette probably not but if that was the only palette I had I'd probably utilize both of them to be honest both sides of the palette but because I have such a selection it don't you know matter to me if I use it or not Alright, so that's one. I will also say that I have no fallout, which is nice. I have creasing, though. Probably could have did a better job at my concealer today. But, you know, it is what it is. Got issues today with everything. It's not been the best day, to be honest with you. 
I use the Fake Awake Liner by Tarte for my inner liner, my waterline, I mean, upper and lower. Okay, and then for my, I'm going to go into Bellatrix 103M for my inner corner. And I'm just going to tap that in the inner corner. And I actually ran it a little bit up. The shade like that. I don't know why I did that, but I did. So I want to do the same thing to both eyes. Usually I do it, but it's a lighter shade. You can see more of a difference. Oh, I guess you can see this in this eye look too. I don't know. This palette just doesn't make me... excited I guess you know what I mean like it's just a palette <laughs> um, I've lost my mirror again hence why I was using I just don't understand where that mirror disappears to guess if I looked a little better I found it <laughs> I'm gonna use the it cosmetics uh, what is this the superhero for my top lashes. And then I'm going to use the MAC Extended Play for bottom. And I know I didn't give this palette like that great of a chance to be honest with you. I do realize that. It's just because it just doesn't excite me. Like I said, it's just, uh, some of them excite me. Even some regular neutrals, like the, um, the Glam, the Biba, the Nude. Like, those are all natural, you know, to consider natural colors, but, and they excite me. This particular palette, I don't know. I don't know if it's because it's the color story. Or if it just is the fact that it irritates me because every shade is in the palette. Or if it's just, you know, I don't know how to work with it. I don't know. There's just something about it that I just, I don't care for. I really don't. And it's not necessarily the quality, because I do think when I first got it, the quality was there. And again, it is an older palette for sure. No doubt. Like, I part, I think I purchased that as soon as it released on Sephora's website, to be honest. my nose is just like running so bad it itchy um allergies obviously but like I can't get my allergies under control for nothing all right and I know I didn't curl my lashes and all that good stuff I, I know so I do understand like I said I didn't give this palette really that much of a fighting chance because I just don't like it. <laughs> and honestly, it's not like the look looks bad. You know what I mean? It looks like a regular eyeshadow look, I guess. And that's the thing. Usually with Natasha Denona palettes, it isn't like a regular eyeshadow look. Like, you get something special from it. And with this, I'm just not getting anything special. And maybe that's on me. You know, maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe whatever it may be. It just, I don't really care for it, to be honest. So I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. Like, if you were thinking about one of these minis, I would say stay clear of this one. 
But like I said, I don't even know if you can get it. Now, as far as the big star, absolutely, positively, I love the one side of it. I know it probably isn't worth it for one side, but I just love that one side of that palette. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped in some way, shape, or form. Um, let me know if you have it. Let me know how you feel about it. Do you like it? And how do you use it? Do you kind of do a look similar to this, you know? Let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload. I upload every day but Sunday. Sometimes I upload a Sunday, though, if I feel like it, you know. Like last Sunday. I just had to play with the new... Oh, I played with the new Natasha Denona, my dream palette. I love that palette. But anyway, that is all I have for you. And I will see you in the next one. And until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.